Hi everyone, I have to apologize because whatever message I gave on the, um, the video that I did earlier obviously was not meant to be out there, okay? My camera acted all sorts of loopy and now I'm running out of time. Um, I just came back in w with Ezra, as you can see, here he is. Um, I'm gonna have to make these shorter. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. I'm gonna do my best. Um, you did see the title. You saw the title of the video. Uh, pretty significant, I would say. Maybe some more is gonna come out about that here, but everything happens for a reason. I'm only gonna be able to pull three cards because I'm running out of time in the day. Uh, normally I have everything timed, you know, and I, I have a little bit of leeway here and there. But um, yeah, very surprising for me too that I literally had like one second of a 35 minute reading that was recorded and that got uploaded. So we're going to do this again. Again, I apologize. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do and I've got to make them shorter. Okay, so let's just take that for what it is worth. Maybe universe has a reason for everything here in this particular instance. So let's see what other information we get for this upcoming week. This is for the week commencing on the 21st of June of 2021. One more quick shuffle and we're gonna pull our three cards and I still will pull for the, each of the elements as well. All right, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. What do we need to know for this upcoming week? Cutting the deck. First card. Second card. Third card. This is what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This is the energy for the upcoming week. And I will also pull clarifiers for each of the three cards as well as uh, elemental readings using my Gypsy Love Oracle deck. Okay, so here we go. The first card for this upcoming week is the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is coming in and it's basically saying something has to be juggled here. We can't drop the ball on this. We got to keep the momentum going. If you think about the band here, there's something might be going on regarding somebody's um, timing belt. Something about timing is coming in here. But it's all about keeping things running smoothly and keeping things in a consistent flow, okay? So this is what that energy is. Someone might be performing for the cameras, performing for something going on here in this upcoming week, trying to create a distraction is what I'm hearing. Someone might be trying to create a distraction to have people not see what's going on behind them for whatever reason that's coming through. So the Two of Pentacles could also be about juggling two jobs. Some of you might be juggling two jobs, juggling your time, as I am right now. I literally had to juggle because I, I lost three hours worth of work just gone like that. So this is what this energy is all about here. This is also Jupiter in Capricorn. Usually people with Jupiter and Capricorn have one job, two jobs, three jobs, four jobs. They have a lot of jobs. They, they need to constantly produce. That's just how they are. Think of a, a Capricorn on steroids. <laughs> okay, That's what a Jupiter and Capricorn is like. Okay, so that Two of Pentacles is definitely coming through here. Now, the Two energy is all about the house of Taurus. And the house of Taurus is all about self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, uh, the body politic, the senses, uh, high value possessions. Possessions can be anything of high value, anything you have money into. You could be invested in real estate. You could be invested in a home. You could be invested in a car. You could be invested in all of that. Okay. There is a little bit of a, you know, a sharing energy between the Torians and, and um, the 
Cancerian houses. The second house and the fourth house to me are very, very similar. And as all of you know, when I talk about astrology, this, these are my interpretations. There might be astrologers that disagree with this. And that's fine. They can. But I'm not. I'm sticking to what I know. All right. What I've seen. What my experience has been. So there's definitely something going on here regarding maybe having two homes. Um, maintaining two uh, pieces of real estate. Moving from one to get to another. That is certainly coming up here. So just be aware of that. And so the next card we have here is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is coming in and saying, I am Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. I have the truth. I have the sword of truth at my side. You are welcome to come to me and talk to me about this. But don't lie. Don't screw around. Because I've been hurt before and I'm not going to be hurt again. Now, the thing is, is this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, she may have in her past something regarding being juggled. Maybe she was juggled. Uh, maybe she had two different jobs. Maybe she, you know, had to perform for other people and she was hurt in the end. And so now she's got that in her memory banks behind her. Okay. And so with that being said, she's now welcoming whatever this energy is. So I want you to bring me that energy so that now I can use that energy to incorporate on how I'm going to be dealing with, you know, this, that, and the other. Okay. So let's see what this is. Ah, the chariot. The chariot card is the sign of cancer. So if we think about, I just said it, the, the second house and the fourth house of cancer are very similar. And you know, I'm a Gemini rising, so maybe that's how this is working out for me. But anyway, this is about a move. This is about a victory. This is about needing to ask a lot of questions like the Sphinxes. You ask the Sphinx, the Sphinx a question, they will answer back with another question. They want you to get to the answer. They want you to get to the solution for yourself. Something very significant. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I picked up wings Okay, in the prior reading that I was doing that didn't load. And I was like, there's something about wings. There's something about wings. And I, I like, you know what? Is this the airlines? I say airlines all the time, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it is, because the chariot is all about the airlines. This is about foreign travel. Uh, this is about just travel by air, travel in any way, shape, or form. This is transportation. There, again, timing belt is coming in here. Balancing the wheels is coming up here. Needing to get the truth regarding the state or the, um, the current, what the current state is of the car or of the transportation or of the trip or of the vacation or of whatever it is you're trying to create victory for in your life. Do you have to travel to get clear on something? Is someone traveling towards you? Are you traveling towards them? Are you bringing with you the energy of juggling two different jobs, having two different jobs at the same time? Are you dealing with a timing belt issue? Are you having to perform? So maybe you have to perform in some location and you have to travel to get to that location to perform. This may have something to do with the 4th of July as well, planning for the 4th of July. The black and the white of a situation, okay? The, the getting to the truth. No more gray, no more confusion. This is all about the black and the white of a situation. Someone here is on their guard. They're ready to go into battle. They've just left the compound is what I'm hearing. They've just left the compound. They're ready to travel now. And that means that they're ready to go out and face their enemy. Okay, this, this knight or whatever you want to call him, this warrior, okay, he's got his battle gear on. He's not in full battle gear. So it looks like he's got to go someplace, like a long distance, and then when he's close to battle, then he'll put his battle gear on. But, but he is getting ready to leave the kingdom, the compound. 
It's time for him to go now. Okay. This is a seven. This is the seventh house of Libra. This could have anything to do with business partnerships, romantic partnerships, equality, fairness, and justice. But it is also the seven of the seventh month, which is July. This could also be a Cancerian person or even a Leo person here. Here we have an Aquarius person or even a Pisces person because this is February. Okay, so this is that energy that's coming through here. I'm hearing something about repackaging, re, uh, reformulating something, repackaging something. Um, this could be where someone takes two components of an already available, um, it's, what do they call that? Like when you're cooking, it's like semi-homemade, okay? It's like something's made over here and something's made over here by manufacturers or by um, food manufacturers and you put them together and you create something new, okay? Something about repackaging or re formulating something is coming up here. What else am I getting? Someone is being forced to do something against their will. That is for sure. And they're about ready to say, you bring that up one more time, I will I will swing and I won't think twice. All right. Definitely something about pilots is coming up here. Someone needs to get to the truth of a situation regarding some sort of transportation or regarding some sort of trip. Someone is not being responsible about their duties. Like someone is not being responsible for what they need to be accountable for. They, their back is turned to it. And other people are left like, how do I do this? And how do I do this? And how do I do this? I mean, like someone has turned their back on something that they're, they own, but they're letting other people like suffer. They're letting other people um, fumble is what I'm hearing. There might be something about fumbles coming up here as well. We're not in football season, so I don't understand what fumble may mean here, but it may mean something to some people out there. That's what I see. All right, let's find out why this energy is here. Now, guys, I want you to take into consideration what I said as part of the title. Because that's all you're getting from the original reading is the title. Cheating. Challenge. Needing a break. One just... Fed up with something, okay? Let's find out why these energies are here. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Chariot. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Sun. A Leo person, children, maybe somebody has to juggle because of the children or someone has to perform because of the children, or the children are performing here. The sun energy is all about the life force energy, the illumination of something. So someone is now having to perform or juggle or get the right timing for something as it relates to the illumination or the, um, the exposure of something, okay? This is also about love. This is about the love of the children. So someone may have to um, juggle the children, meaning 
uh, maybe someone is divorced or whatever, and there, there needs to be some sort of um, compromise regarding the children. That's why this is here. The children is the children are causing this energy here. This could also be a Leo. This is a 14, breaks down to a 5. Absolutely. This is romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, or pets. Remember what I said. Somebody might be juggling somebody else as well. Even in a relationship. You know what I find really interesting here? It's like someone... Someone is having an affair with somebody else. And they're demanding the person that they're having an affair with that they can't see anybody. But the person demanding that they can't see anybody, they're seeing somebody else too. This is unbelievable. I'm sorry. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ah, the Ace of Swords reversed. Because there was a lie, 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 liar, liar, pens on fire, hanging from a telephone wire. That's what we used to say when there was no cell phones. So someone might be hanging from something or hanging by a thread, hanging by their... I'm hearing the story of the three pigs. Like the hair of the chinny chin chin and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Like something something going on regarding that. I, I don't know why it's coming up that way. What do they want me to say about that? The house of, is it the house of straw? The house of like, sticks or something like that and then the house of bricks something like that so i think someone is learning to be a little bit more careful about what they're building and whatever it is that they're building must be strong it must be strong foundation not built on lies because somebody built something off of lies so now somebody's demanding the truth of a situation. The reason the demand for the truth is here is because of a big, big lie or a failure to launch or a failure to um, be victorious in a situation. This could also be a medical claim about a, like a misleading piece of information and someone is going in to get a, a medical claim looked at, maybe regarding a procedure or a surge, surgery, possibly. This could be a lawyer or an attorney demanding the truth because either they were lied to or you were lied to. Something coming up here where an attorney is saying, you can't lie about this. You could be in a lot of trouble. For some people out there. So what is going on for the reason the chariot is here? Oh boy. The high priestess reversed. Now this could be an Aquarian person or a Pisces person that's not feeling well or... You're talking to this person about uh, the trip or the travel or the vacation and it's like they're getting impatient or they're they're kind of coming out of their silent mode and they're like they really want the answer. Like, what's going on here? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? Where are you at? Da, 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 da. Could be that. You know, I really feel for some of you out there, like somebody is demanding to know where somebody is at or where someone has been. This is someone who does not have all the answers. This is someone who that pretends they have all the answers. This is someone who um, 
is not a wise sage, is not a wise counsel. Or a secret comes out regarding this trip. I feel the secret coming out regarding this trip has to do with a romantic relationship and someone cheated on somebody else. Or this has to do with someone who was surrounded by secrecy and lies and now they're demanding the truth as it relates to this trip, this vacation, whatever. This could be work related or it might even be something related to the children. I think so. I think that's what this is. All right, so let's get right into it. I got to get this done because now I've got to record for the members again as well. Earth sign, what do we have for you? Earth sign, what do we have for you? What is your card, Earth sign? Interference, you bet. This might be third party interference. This might be someone was trying to interfere with what your plans were. They didn't ask your permission. You didn't ask their permission. This could be interference of the children. So you're trying to, oh, very interesting. So earth sign, you're trying to, you're trying to throw in interference with the children. Again, I'm feeling football here and I don't know why. We've got interference and we had a fumble. So what the heck? I don't know where this is coming from. But anyway, so someone is trying to create interference regarding the children or regarding, again, I'm getting red herring. I'm getting, creating confusion, not letting somebody know what's really happening. Like somebody's trying to throw interference or sign. That's what it feels like to me. Interference regarding a trip. Interference regarding the truth of a situation. Interference regarding the children. What do we have regarding the air signs? Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. What have we got? Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Secrets. Secrets are coming out. So Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, if you have secrets, they're coming out. If um, someone was keeping secrets from you, they're coming out now as well. May have something to do with the children. May have something to do with love. May have something to do with getting to the truth of the situation, of the matter. As it relates to travel, some sort of travel, some sort of trip, vacation, a victory. Something's coming out here, air sign, where the secrets are about to be revealed. Man, air signs, you've been waiting for that. I'm serious. You're like, let them be revealed. All right, let's go ahead and look at the water signs. Water signs, what's your energy for this upcoming week? Water signs, what's up with you? The X. So water sign, definitely. The X, why are you the X with this person? Because they cheated on you. They juggled something else. They may have been juggling you and the children. And you're like, I don't appreciate that. You didn't tell me the truth about that situation regarding that trip that you took. Or you canceled this trip with me because you made an excuse for the children or the children made an excuse with you. This may have had everything to do with the ex. So say, for example, water sign, you were supposed to spend time with somebody and their ex came in traveled back in might have been an Aquarius or a Pisces lied through their teeth maybe caused a fight or demanded the truth regarding a situation 
as it related to juggling something regarding the children needing to change the um, the schedule or whatever water sign. Or the ex is coming in here, water sign, and you want to keep a secret from him or, or her. You can't. Now, they might be traveling right now. You won't be able to, to lie because they're on to you or they're, they're on to a situation. They're watching it very, very closely. Might be related to the children, water sign. So either water sign, that's you or somebody that you love is going through that. But you do have the X energy coming through here. Fire sign, what's going on with you? Fire sign, what's happening? Fire sign, what have we got? Aries, Sag, Leo, Virgo. So fire sign, right now you're really um, worrying about the day-to-day, -day, keeping your eye on the prize, keeping an eye on the details, dotting the I's, crossing the T's. You're really involved with your day-to-day -day right now. You're really involved with, I don't have time for all this other stuff. I don't have time to go through your lies and your secrets. You know, I'm traveling right now. I'm moving right now. I've got to get this taken care of right now. I don't have time for lies. I need the truth of a situation. Please be honest with me. Stop juggling the situation. I need clarity. Okay, that could be what's going on, fire sign, or this could actually be a Virgo in your life that you're dealing with right now for whatever reason regarding this whole situation. All right? All right, my beautiful, beautiful YouTubers, thank you so very much. Um, again, I'm very sorry uh, that this happened. There's nothing I can do, so I'm going to stop saying sorry now. <laughs> but I hope that this does serve you. Um, I will probably title this one, um, yeah, I, I really feel a secret is being revealed with these three cards right here. This is the illumination. This is the lie. This is demanding the truth regarding some sort of victory, transportation, you know, pilot, um, performance or move or something like that. <clears throat> and this is also... It's faded. This is a major arcana. It's literally faded for whatever has been hidden and people were being quiet about. They're not being quiet about it anymore. It's getting all over the place. It's like spreading like wildfire. So maybe that's what I'll do. I will say for this week, it's spreading like wildfire. All right. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.